Don't need to deny the, the master. Let's get right here in the center. The master passed by tonight. Somebody asked me again the other day, said, why do you two old men sit down once in a while? I said, because we want to. <laughs> we don't stand up as long as we used to, do we, Glenn? We don't do nothing as long as we used to, are you? <laughs> Ask and you shall receive. <laughs> he, we, we reminisce. When you get our age, you do reminisce a lot. And right. so, so we do. So here, uh, two days ago, we were talking about when we, when, when we learned to shave, Ben and I, back in the early days, you learned to shave with a big, long straight razor. Big, long handle, big, long blade. You'd lather up, you know. She learned to shave that way. And you had to be careful. Glenn said the first time he shaved in Texas one July morning, about 15, 16 years old. He did it all out of that, had that big old razor, and a fly lit on his end of his nose. <laughs> and he said he took a swarp at it and chopped a little piece of his nose off. <laughs> he said he, when he did that, he dropped the razor, and he was barefooted, and chopped a little piece of big toe off. <laughs> he said he picked his nose and his toes up and run to the doctor. <laughs> and the doctor sewed him on the wrong part, his nose on his toes and his toes on his nose. <laughs> He said, ever since then, everything has smelled so footy. He said he had to take his shoe off to sneeze. You're bad. Somebody asked me, and I said, George, why do you pick on me like you do? I said, God has called me to do this. I love old people. I got to share that the other night we were somewhere, I don't know where it was, but there's a lady on the front row about Glenn's age, she's about 90. No. <laughs> and she had been leaning on her cane and enjoying us all night long, but she got kind of aggravated at me. And then she stood up and she shook her cane at me and said, You oughtn't to pick on Glenn like you do. You oughtn't to tease him like you do. She said, You shouldn't. She kept saying, Oughtn't to. You oughtn't to do this and you oughtn't to do and pick on Glenn. She raked me over the good for teasing Glenn. And I had a terrible time explaining to her that I'm not teasing. <laughs> Tell about reminiscing, can I reminisce just a little bit? 35 years ago, you know what? 55 years for Glenn, he's been singing gospel music. 30, uh, 53 for me. God has allowed us to do the last 35 years together, ladies and gentlemen. This is, this is a very emotional time for George and I. This is our farewell tour of this last year. The second week in December, we will put on our last concert, hopefully in Akron, Ohio, where we started. And uh, it's been a very emotional time. But God has blessed us beyond measure. And I, I don't even like to think about not singing with George Jones. I don't even like to think about it. It's such an emotional time. But you know what? I already got my application in. <laughs> what, what you going to do? It's a Walmart greeter. Here's your card. <laughs> Let me know what Walmart. I'm going to come there and wear you out. <laughs> 35 years ago, we were in, remember this thing? We were in New Orleans, Louisiana one Sunday afternoon. 35 yeah. years ago, one Sunday afternoon. And a lady hollered out of the audience for us to sing this song. The group we had back then didn't know the song. We wore out several groups. <laughs> 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 and so I said, Glenn, I know the song, you know the song. I'll do the, uh, the lead, you, you, do, you do the harmony part, and we'll sing this song. In a loud mouth, ungodly, vile, vulgar, crime filled world, where we're seeing things and they're dreaming. See, hearing things and they're dreaming here. Listen to an absolute wonderful, wonderful thing. Search me.
Here, we'd never set a time to retire, never, never thought about it. We said, God will let us know in such a way we can't doubt it. He came by my house this past December, and we weren't even talking about this, but all of a sudden it came up. And we decided together that uh, this should be our farewell tour. Glenn, Glenn's 72, and I'm 69, and we just didn't feel like we could... Don't laugh. Some of y'all are older than that. <laughs> I really don't know what was funny about that. But I don't I, either. I, 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 we'll keep it. If you got to laugh, I'll keep it in our program. There ain't nothing about being <laughs> 72 funny. <laughs> but uh, let me say, uh, let me say our, our farewell thanks to you for all these years. Uh, Roger Clay, Pam, Nazarene Church here. Man. Nobody's ever treated us any, any more wonderfully than they have. You people, every single time we've come here, it seems like you've been an audience. It seems like we could feel you reach your arms around, around us and love us. Here, do this. Don't get in no hurry. You, you can't go nowhere. We're parked.